Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel 3D Parametric Solid Model Drawings. Today we will demonstrate to you how to create a simple sheet metal part in Simon's NX. In this tutorial, we will talk to you about some basic sheet metal tools like tab and flange tool. Okay, alright. Now we will activate the new command from here, ok. Now you can see here various types of templates are visible in the new dialog box. So now we will create a new millimeter sheet metal power file. If you want to create an inch file, you can change from here. In my case, I will open the millimeter file. Okay, now this is my sheet metal file name as sheet metal model one dot part. Okay, now this is the folder destination. It is showing that the sheet metal file where is saving. Now we will change the folder destination to my desktop. Ok, now we will create a new folder. Name sheet metal design. Ok, and save the file in this folder. Click OK. My millimeter sheet metal file is open now. You can see here my sheet metal tools are available here on the ribbon in Simon's NX software. Just like sheet metal from solid tool, okay, tap tool, flange tool, contour flange tool, normal cutout tool, pattern feature tool, unbend and rebend tools. Flat pattern tools, etc., etc. But right now, I would not like to talk about it. Later, we will discuss it in my next video. Okay, that's it. Now, first, we will activate the tap tool from the basic panel. Okay. In the tap dialog box, we will expand all the settings of the tap command like this. At first, I will create a base feature. Ok, now see many different options are available on this dialog box. Which as you can see here that in the multi-band reference area like specify the clean option on here. If you want to choose this option, it will ask you to select the object on here. You can select like any plane or like if a sheet metal feature is made in advance and you want to work on it. Ok, leave it now. Sheet material should be inside or outside but all thing these settings can be utilized when you are working in multiple bends on the sheet metal part. Ok, right now I would not like to talk about it. Later we will discuss in the next chapter. Ok, in the section area it asking select a curve where you want to start the base sketch. And now see here we will change the sheet thickness value according to our design. If you want to keep the custom value of sheet metal thickness you will change. So let me tell you how to do it. The default sheet thickness value will keep 3 mm. Ok alright. So first I will choose the use local value option from here. Ok alright. And then next we will fix the value. 0.79375 mm if you calculate this value in inches it will keep 1 by 32 inches ok from here you will choose the reverse direction button on the left side to change the direction of the sheet thickness ok that's it so let's start the sketch over the xy plane for creating the base sketch ok alright now you can see here many sketch tools are visible here in the ribbon. 
so let's install the rectangle tool now we will choose the center point rectangle here draw a rectangle from the part origin width and height will keep 100 by 50 millimeter of this rectangle Okay, finish the sketch. Now see here my tab feature preview is visible here in the design window. Okay, now we will change the direction of the sheet thickness that will keep upward or downward by selecting this button as I told you about it earlier. Now you can see that my first SB tab feature is visible in the browse bar. Okay, if you want to any changes to the tab feature, you can go on the SB tab feature and right click and choose edit with rollback option. Okay. just like which you want to change the thickness of the sheet or else bend material should be inside or outside etc etc okay all right now we will talk to you about the flange tool okay all right now first we will activate the flange tool from the bend panel okay okay at first it will ask to select edge okay now we will select the edge of the tab feature like this 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, alright. Okay, now see many different options are available on this dialog box. Which as you can see here that in the flange properties area, in the width area full option is selected by default here if you go on the details now see various options are available here these settings are required when you have to give a flange in any one side edge of the tab feature but in my case i have to give a flange on all its edges okay all right now you can fix the flange height on here or else you can you can also change the flange height by dragging this blue arrow in the design area. In my case, the flange height will keep 20 mm. Okay, now you can change the direction of the flange from here. Now we will go on the angle section. Okay, now see the 90 degrees angle has already been set by default. Any angle values can be filled on in this box, just like 45 degrees or else 120 degrees. Whatever value you want to give, here you can give according to the design. In my case, the angle value will keep 90 degrees. Okay, alright. Okay, now you can see the length reference section by default is set inside option on here. Okay, otherwise you can expand the list from here and change the settings like outside, web or tangent. Okay, now we are selecting these options. Now see the result. In my case, we have selected the outside option. Okay. Now you can see the inset section. Okay. By default is set material inside option on here. Okay. Otherwise you can expand the list from here and change the settings like material outside else or bend outside or material inside OML. Okay, now we are selecting these options. Now see the result.
in my case we have selected the bend outside option if you want to give the offset on here now see and choose the reverse direction from here okay now we will expand some more options on this dialog box such as in the geometry properties section we will activate the miter option now see my all the corners of the sheet metal are mitered here it looks amazing Okay, now deactivate the miter option and click OK to create a flange. Okay, my sheet metal part is looking perfect. Now you see here my first SB flange feature is created here. Okay, now we will tell you some more options for this tool. Activate the tool once again. and select this edge choose add center option under the width option area okay the width will keep 20 mm and the length will keep 10 mm and the angle value will keep 55 degrees In the bend parameter section, you can change the bend radius. Here by default is 3 mm. Okay. Now we can change here, select the use local value option and set the radius 1.5 mm. Now see here, it will automatically update the sheet. Many options available here, like a neutral factor. In the bend relief section, three options are available here square, round, and none. Okay, we are selecting each option. Now see the result. In my case, we will choose the square option. Depth and width can also be changed from here. Now see the result. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. Now my sheet metal video is completed here. I hope you will understand it about the tab and flange tool. If you have any question in your mind about this sheet metal video tutorial, please comment on this video. I will solve the matter regarding your comments. If you may like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues. Okay friends, have a nice day and goodbye.